ESF1, and today we're gonna be doing a tier list video. It's kind of an intermission for my Super Meat Boy Forever review, so mm, it works. But um, today we're gonna be rating all 18, I think, characters. Yeah, there's like 18 characters in this game. And I actually, hot take, to start this off, I like this roster more than the original. Mostly because, well, they just feel way more raw in terms of diversity even though they all have the same functions if that makes sense like i just really love the the chaos of it all if that makes sense that's probably why dr feet is my favorite character in the franchise but still whatever anyway let's i think we should just start this off by good old meat boy the 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 usual the, you love to see it because honestly yeah he's a great character like i fully believe like he is honestly my like honestly like he's just the default but he's like the per perfect default so i'm gonna put him at great but not favorite because i have certain favorites that are, are my favorite if that makes sense so bandage girl is honestly like i actually like playing as bandage girl more like i don't know why but her attack animations look cooler to me like the kicks just look better they just feel way more fluid in a way and they have they feel like they have some more impact if that makes sense it just looks cleaner to me but but preferences are a thing so whatever she still goes in great and <laughs> oh boy here we are we got good old or terrible old tofu boy oh man i feel so bad for this man we all we all do we all feel bad for this painful sack of tofu he gets his own tier of being like the way he is you know Oh man, I feel bad for him. But hey, he gets his own tier, so that's kind of a dub in his own way. But Prototype Boy is also one of my favorite characters in this game because like it came out of nowhere. When I got three three pacifiers for the first time and unlocked him, I was just like, yo, what? Like he's in the game? And also like I love how his um animations are much more I guess like I don't know how to describe it, like without being degrading, but like sort of less like they're less fluid and they're much more basic and i really love that like and he was in the 2014 prototype as well so it fits perfectly with his name so i feel he goes in great as well um mega bandage she is one of my favorite characters to play as for sure so like just the mega man style animations are just so cool and also her um victory animations or no her animations at the end of a level are just some of my favorites they're 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 so funny so Honestly, she goes in favorite. Like, she's not my favorite character to play as out of this roster, but still, she's one of my favorites. Okay, um, M Zero is really cool. Like, but he's honestly a character that when I when I first played as him, I already knew I am not going to be playing as this character for a long time, and he's not really going to be in my top roster, even though he's really cool. Like, it's just like he it doesn't feel as like I, I don't know how to describe it he's just not really my personal type of thing but he's still really cool he's not bad at all none of the characters in this game are bad at all they're really sick so i'm gonna put him in mid but like just no actually no i'm just gonna put him in good but i'm but it's not like i'm gonna be using him that much little meat is in oh my gosh little meat's on a whole nother level like he, he goes in favorite with mega bandage just because of the similar stuff like Instead of the Mega Man references, they're Punch-Out references, and he even has, like, some of the sound effects to boot. And, like, it's just really clean. And also, I love his end-of-level animations when, he's, when, like, he does those various punches and everything. It's really cool. And also, plus, his minigame gets extra points, too, because, oh man, that Punch-Out minigame is so clean. And there's so many references in his minigame as well, when you do that section, so, honestly, just that alone puts him to favorite. Um, Meet Sona. Meet Sona, without a doubt, goes in favorite. Just, that's a guarantee. He's just that perfect, and that's just a fact. Peak male physique, and if you don't like it, then you're wrong. But, honestly, Meet Sona's minigame is also really cool. They sadly nerfed it for some reason, because apparently it was too hard, but, like, you perfection is key, you know? So, whatever. Um, squir the squirrel's also really cool. Like, I, the fact that you can play as the squirrel is honestly one of the nuttiest things in this game, pun intended. But I still feel like he's a really fun character to mess around with, and especially 
Just like, he looks so cool by default, and I love how he has his own story arc and everything, like, that's just so sick. So, he goes in... great. I don't play him- I don't play him as often as, like, something like Meet Sona, you know? But, like, he's still in a similar level, if that makes sense. Manic is also a character that I never expected to play as, like, the fact that you get to play as some of the bosses in this game is absolutely nutty, and I love it, so... Like, it's really cool how it expands the Meat Boy universe, if that makes sense. Like, just the fact that there's all these different characters you can play as instead of just, like, other indie game characters. It gives the Meat Boy universe its own identity, and that's part of why I love Manic. So, he goes in good, because I don't play him as often, and I don't really have plans to. But he, the fact that he's even playable is really cool, and I love his little animations. He's just an overall cool guy. Um, okay, Meat Ninja is really sick. I actually like playing him less than the original Meat Boy, because I just really like the original Meat Boy design more, but he's still really cool. Like, I can't deny that, and he is one of my favorite designs in this game, too. And the fact that he's Meat Ninja from the original Meat Boy, just, like, older and everything, it's freaking cool. Like, I, I, I just love that. So, you, you can see the attention to detail they put into it, and I just absolutely love it. Um... Bandage Ripper is also in the same level as, like, of just freaking cool. Like, it's just so sick. Man, why are the characters in this game just all top tier in some way? And even Tofu Boy's top tier, and he got, he's got his own tier for a reason. So, honestly, Bandage Ripper is on the same level. Like, same reasons for um, Meat Ninja, and plus, Bandage Girl gets her own older version at the same time, which is amazing. So, that's already a W. Um... Brownie. Brownie is Brownie is definitely one of my favorite, sort of... He's one of my favorite characters from Super Meat Boy as a whole, and his new design is honestly my favorite iteration of him, and definitely will be for a long time. And the fact that they even brought him back is... Aw oh man, I'm so happy they brought him back. Like, because he's a fun character, like... I play him more than Meat Ninja for sure, but... He's, he's just such a fun character, and his new design, he rocks that outfit so well. And his color scheme fits it perfectly, too, so... I love how he's so unaware at the same time, so... Like, that attention to detail really just puts him to great. Now, we get to the big boy. Um, Dr. Fetus? Oh my gosh. you love to see it. Like, that. To, for me, I'm just like, yes. He goes in favorite, actually. Because he is my favorite character in this sort of... Oh my gosh, he's my favorite character in Super Meat Boy as a whole, and just as a franchise, I guess. Like, he's my- he's, like, such a cool character, and his relationship with Nugget is so sick. So, you'll- Uncle Fetus goes in favorite, because he's just that cool. Um, hmm. Classic Boy? Like, the classic characters in general, they're cool, but, like, they feel wrong. Like, something about them all feels- wrong in this game like I, something about him feels wrong to me and like if you like playing this one that's cool but like oh my gosh it's such a blast to the past that it feels wrong like prototype boy feels like a blast to the past but done right in a way and i just the old meat boy art style mixed with the new one is just oh my gosh i i don't like how it looks but i guess that's part of it because the new art style, I just love it way, way more, and I, it makes me not want to look at the original Meat Boy art style anymore, if that makes sense. Might be a bit extreme, but I'm putting them mid. Even though, like, if you like playing as them, that's freaking cool. Like, I'm totally down with that, but for me, personally, I'm just not that much of a fan of them. Same, same thing with Classic Girl, like, oh my gosh. For me, they, they look even more cursed because they all... Their attacks, like, the fact that they can even attack, like, visually, just looks so wrong. Because they were never able to do those animations, so it's just, like, it feels so out of place. But, I get, but that's the point, so... Honestly, like, um, Classic Fetus, the fact that it's Dr. Fetus, though, puts him in good. Because Dr. Fetus bias is just a thing. And also, I haven't unlocked... I have Wait, no, no, you don't go in there. No, okay. The fact that I, I haven't unlocked relationship goals yet, because that's going to take me at least a month to S-rank all the Dark World stuff, so... I'm... But I've seen footage of them, they look really cool. Like, it's one of the coolest character sort of things. 
even though it is just Meat Boy and Bandage Girl together as char as a character, but like, it's one of the coolest things, seeing them switch b dynamically between each other. Like, that's definitely one of my favorite aspects of that character, and I want to unlock them so bad, so I'm gonna be on that grind. But, yeah. This, this, they, they, they go in, they go in favor, because when I play, when I unlock them, I know I'm gonna be playing as them for a long time. Anyway, that is the tier list. I feel like it's pretty, pretty, like, good. At least I got to put something in mid, even though most of, I just know that I love all the characters in this game. It's not like I, it's not like I don't, that I quote unquote don't like any of them, it's just that some of them are better than others, similar to how DBFZ is really balanced, for example, so, honestly, they're all cool, like, I really love them, and I actually like their roster more than the original game, mostly because it doesn't feel the need to rely on other properties, even though the fact that Commander Video isn't here is a problem, so, but, either way, this roster is awesome, I'm ESF1, again, so, subscribe to my channel if you want to, like, like and subscribe, and then thanks for watching. Bye.